Okay, so you travel through time, uh, entering Dimension X. Uh, you have a Mega Man arm cannon. It's pretty cool. Talk to this guy, he gives you a mission, blah blah blah, blah. go do whatever the Japanese want you to do. Let's get on it. Oh uh, yeah. So I really just don't even know where to begin with this game. I mean, the basic plot, as far as I can tell, is uh, your dog man, uh, your owner, or you're the owner of him. He lost your uh, dog bone to a bully, got ran over by a car. Therefore, you must travel in time, uh, kill the dinosaurs, and preserve the natural time order, or you'll create a paradox. Okay. Sounds good. I believe this is paying tribute to the original Jurassic Park scene where Jeff Goldblum attempts to jump over several dinosaurs to get across the lake. Alright, so eventually we lead up to the inevitable boss. Um, what exactly is he? A super caveman, I guess, with Hitmonchan gloves. I just love the animation work on this. I mean, he's not even moving any part of his body. Oh, his feet are moving, I guess. I'm dead. I am restored with the strength of ten full-grown men. Ready to go. Really not too hard. I don't even know if you have lives, to be honest. I think that iron next to the blue tube is your amount of lives. Correct me if I'm wrong. I just really have no idea what. Oh, uh, about to lose it? Exploded? Is that good or bad? You be the judge? Yep. Yep. So I approach this hut, it has a picture of Jesus on a sign in front of it, and when you go inside, it's just the Japanese equivalent of Captain Caveman inside. Little to no help. Uh, morbidly obese woman. So, I need to spend the rest of the game running back and forth, running into space age technology, in dinosaur world, and I get killed by it. Um, uh, yeah, yep. <laughs> 